All right, folks, uh, good evening. It's another Friday in the life of the world, and uh, the calendar is telling you uh, June 4th, 2021. Welcome. I'm Citizen Jones. Now, in the program today, we have uh, stories uh, to keep you busy at the television. For instance, Chairman INEC Chairman canvasses technology-driven electoral process. He says the law should not be a barrier to free, fair, and credible elections. And later on, we'll share this with you. Niger Delta nationalities demand inauguration of NDDC board as Akwabio visits Tompolo following the ultimatum. I'm hanging out with Baba Jide Kolade Otitoju. BKO, I greet you, Jide. I greet you, citizen. Let's also report that we expect Martins Oloja. Martins is uh, delayed by the traffic. Martins should join us any moment soon. Um, but I, I, I think the, the team is ready. Yes, we are. I hope you are. So let's go. All right, to our first story. You know, our twisted democracy is made all the more tedious by contentious elections. INEC boss Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, who insists that the whole world relies on the use of technology in the conduct of elections, should not preclude Nigeria from going electronic. So speaking in Abuja on, 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 on Thursday while presenting a paper at the Blueprint's 10th anniversary, Professor Yakubu through INEX director of ICT, Chi Dim Manwafo, stressed that although IT was evolving in our country, a vast country like ours, electronic voting is the way to go, regardless of its shortcomings. Again, the law should never stand in the way of free, fair, and credible elections. We share the sentiments, don't we? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, I've always um, even used the example of India the world's uh, largest democracy um, with no less than two billion people. Hmm. Elections are held in India. You can't rig the elections. <laughs> you can't emerge as Prime Minister of India if the people do not want you. You can't force yourself on the people. It's still the wish of the people that prevails in India in spite of the size, the sheer size yeah. of the country yeah. um, in terms of land mass and uh, population density. So, the truth is, India has found a way to make its elections credible. It's electronic voting, but it's 100% Indian technology. Yeah. And this technology is time-tested and has been found to be reliable. Mm. I've asked myself why we cannot um, copy India, for example. O otherwise, if it is about size, why can't we copy India? Yes, why can't we copy? Because ours is a great country. It's a, in terms of population, we are the biggest um, nation on the continent. We are the biggest black nation. Our population is huge, no, no doubt about it. So, and we are a third world nation like India. A lot of the conditions that you see in Nigeria are present in India. Hmm. Poverty, <laughs> uh, open defecation. Disease, come on. Uh, all, all those oh, things but they that remind you that you are a third world they, country. They said we took over from them in terms yes, of defecating Yes, we defeated public. them. Uh, 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 it used oh. to be the world headquarters of poverty. Oh, yeah. We have yeah. also overtaken them. Then uh, in, in terms of um, um, open defecation. They, uh, say, they uh, say we are number one. They say we are number one, but... Mm. I don't know. India could still in my It's still view. debatable. Yes, but again, because of the sheer size. But, but, but then, India is showing the way. Question is, if we won't copy at all, why don't Let's we copy, copy, copy what... Uh, there are examples out there, good examples that we can copy. India has shown that electronic voting can be effective. 
and result will come out quickly. It's not a matter of, look at what we do, we wait, sometimes three days after, we still don't know who has won an election. Mm -hmm. We are not as big as India. Yet, if election is held today, presidential, I mean, uh, the, the election for the prime minister is held today, they will know within 24 hours who won the election. So that is the the uh, the, the, the truth. We need yeah. to copy the right example. Yeah. And our people go to India. I believe that if it can work for India, why not? Here? As a third world nation, as a big nation, then it should be able to work here. All I'm interested in is for the wish of the people to prevail. That's all. Every That's all. time the wish of the people prevail prevails. It moves you closer to representative uh, democracy, uh, de democracy uh, government of the people, chosen by the people, people. and, and responsible the to the people. Responsible to the people. That was very important. Oh, yeah. Let, uh, Gide, let me introduce Asoko James. Asoko is sitting in, or filling in, as they say, uh, for the man we expect. Martin Zoloja. Asuko, I greet you. Yeah. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. We're talking India, and uh, first of all, you know, uh, if the democracy of India is that time-tested, how come our own? Uh, uh, India, ten times the size of our population, so why do we still have problems with, with our elections? Oh, well, I, I, I want to believe it's because um, even the politicians themselves, Nigerian politicians, will not even allow it to work. You know, but uh, just like uh, Jide was saying, I, sometimes when you see the Indian um, elections in record time, the last election was even more surprising because in record time the results were already out. Mm. And this is a country that has close to one billion people, mm. you know, Modern. and all of them more than one billion. Mm. Yeah, and before you know it. The results were already out. In Nigeria, you have to wait for days, and then they, they will be looking for touchlight for some people oh, to come write, on, come on. you know, results. <laughs> and <laughs> and, 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 and your, your, your <laughs> uncle somewhere will spare a generator just you to know, get a, you, and, the process going. And even there was a time, I remember there was a particular election that I covered that um, the voters actually dead in the night. Do you know you are, they reporting, to, they you are reporting your country? They are, yeah, well, it's the same thing. <laughs> they had to, you know, switch on their, the, their, their vehicles, yes. oh, you know, for the light, for to, the light shine. to shine. Oh, you, know? you know, so it's as bad as that. So for, for, for us to get to that level, we need to start looking at if we really want electronic voting to work. Good. Mm -hmm. Go there. The INEC chairman says electronic voting is the way to go. Yeah. You believe him? Yes, yes. Is because it possible? Is 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 possible, but will it? Will they allow it to work? Who this day? So when, when you keep when talking about who this, they? I'm telling you about the politicians because look oh, at the politicians. Let's even look at even the card readers. Let's look at even the card readers for even to accredit voters. There are some places those card readers will go to, and it won't work. And the politician, who knows that, okay, it will not work, or they find mm -hmm. ways of, for it not to work, they will always find ways round it. Round, so that th those things, the, it, the thing is, if INEX says card reader, we are using card reader. And if it does not work, no voting. Mm -hmm. Nobody should now think. The, the, the problem is, when INEX says, if the card reader does not work and brings alternative, politicians will look for, they will take the alternative oh, yeah. and leave the card reader. Oh, 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 oh. You, you know, it's like the man who <laughs> got a canteen, a restaurant, mm. and a plate of food is 3,000 naira. Yeah. And then they told him, uh, they showed him the menu. Um, extra, this thing, 1,005. He said, oh, God, give me a plate of extra. They said, no, but take the original <laughs> first. <laughs> <laughs> so, politically speaking, we are saying, Politicians are the problems we we see all the time. They are, Can't they are. we see beyond them? You see, this card reader, this card reader, which is um, the electronic means of verifying um, the biometrics of a voter. Okay. If we allow it to work, it will still give us true winners of elections. But many times, 
we bypass the card reader. And I've said before, in 20, in 2015, when we introduced the card reader in the major election, yeah. we achieved more than 50% performance. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fifty percent, more than fifty percent used, about fifty-six percent use of the card reader. By the time we did the um, twenty nineteen off-season elections of twenty twenty okay. December twenty twenty, okay. yeah. yeah, the performance had slipped to nineteen percent. Politicians were now afraid of the card reader working. Would you say that? No, to rig election, to be, they were because they, 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 they knew that with the card reader in place, they cannot rig the election. So they increasingly and working with people in INEC because INEC itself will set, set its own rules, yet there are elements in INEC mm -hmm. who are not interested in, in um, implementing the rules. their own rules. Mm -hmm. For example, INEX says where there is violence, you must not return uh, any, uh, any yes from that place. The, uh, in Bayesa and in Kogi during the off-season election of 2020, even in places where violence erupted, results were returned from those places. Mm -hmm. So I'm nice. saying that yes, now of course, mm -hmm. I'm saying that progressively we are seeing. Um, bypassing of the card reader, refusal to use the card reader. Where you use the card reader, it is difficult, it is impossible to allocate votes. Our politicians simply want to allocate votes. Mm -hmm. mm. I have little respect for a lot, for a lot of these politicians. They, are, they don't want free and fair election. It has reached a point in our country that a politician can tell you to your face that whether you vote for me or not, I will win yeah, this win election. election right? He either wins the election through the ballot or he goes to court hmm. and the courts give him victory. an unlikely victory. It's happened. I know yeah. someone who did not win an election, who was, <laughs> who was well beaten an election, but the courts eventually gave him victory. Hmm. So hmm. all kinds of things. And I know and that and such sorry such a victory is tainted. Yes. So why are we bypassing the card reader? From like fifty six percent, it went to in the in the twenty nineteen election it went to nineteen percent. Yeah. And then the off season election of twenty twenty, sixteen percent. Oh, wow. So it's, it keeps going down. Hmm. That's to tell you how determined our politicians are to rig elections. They are not interested in free and fair election. I'm, I'm sure that even a lot of them in the National Assembly, they are hearing now that uh, the, um, the INEC is talking about um, EVM. They will be sitting there and say, ah, if we allow <laughs> EVM to happen, it will hurt us to win elections. Exactly. They will be plotting. That's why you can see the lingo that the INEC uh, uh, chairman oh, yeah, yeah. He said, that uh, the law should not be a barrier yeah. to free, fair, and credible election because he knows that they may not. It will be a resort to that the law, law may courts. not be passed. Of course, you know the the law courts, even the Supreme Court ruled that the the card reader was not backed by law, and it allowed some people to get. Uh, I mean, get. But, uh, but, but do you know they are right? Yes, yes. So. So, uh, uh, so at the what? time of 2015 election, yeah. the law uh, had not uh, been made yeah. that would validate the card reader. 2019 election came, we also thought the president would give his assent. He didn't give his assent. So, mm. up till, till today, today, up till <laughs> today, the card reader, after being introduced for, uh, uh, more than four years ago, he is still not backed by law because mm -hmm. we want to rig election. Well, Asukwa, I'll come to you, but let's quickly talk with Lucky. He's reaching us from Akuti here in Lagos, near Lagos. <laughs> uh, 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 lucky, how, how lucky you are. Let's go. How do you do? Hello? Yeah, brother Lucky, are you there? Uh, are you, uh, can you hear me? You are on, sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. So I talk to the panelists. The what? The panel is there. I mean, the co-candidate and the co. Yes. 
Go on, go on. The go on, go on, go on. But we'll okay. be, this uh, is a uh, journalist hangout. Mm. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you. I want to talk to directly to Mr. Kogadi uh, Okitogu. He is listening. I've been watching uh, journalist hangout for a very long time. And I want to correct some impression. What are you correcting? Ah, uh, he's unlucky. But, but but please call, uh, just so we take. I I am interested in the yeah, in the, the correction. In the correction that you yeah, want to. Do. Yeah, it's only natural, you know. <laughs> so but but let's let's even go there. So the law has not been passed, deliberately, or otherwise. Well, the, I I might not know whether it is. Um, why the president has refused, you know, to 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 sign the, um, that particular bill into law. But the thing is, <clears throat> for years since 20, 2015, we've been in that matter, hmm. trying to see that elections are not are free and fair, and not just ordinary free and fair. But at least, if anybody is going to, you know, to vote, hmm. the person should be confident that okay. What My I vote, vote will, count. will count. My vote will count. You know, yeah. because if we have electronic voting, there are so many things. I can stay in my house and I will cast my vote, mm. and I know that it will count. I can, the, the 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 experience of India, you know, should should serve as a lesson to us that if a country as large as that yeah. should be able to is doing that bringing electronic voting and then mm. everybody we didn't hear that one particular polling unit mm. you know was attacked yeah no, they don't snatch all of us no need for you to snatch because everything <laughs> would have been counted the results uh, are already there uh, and, and if, if you snatch then go cancel the uh, of course so, so what's the essence course. of snatching how often, it's not how often that. do we hear that <laughs> that, that uh, uh, people took themselves to court to over election in, over, the, over. in, the, in the, no. the UK. When once election is over, it's over because everybody, nobody is there to say, okay, yeah. I want to go to court because I am, I feel uh, aggrieved. Asukwa, well, let's quickly take Yakub is waiting patiently. He's in Lagos here. Yakub, we are with you. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. Good evening, sir. Citizen, yeah. Good evening, sir. Uh, Azuko, good evening. Good evening. Uh, Ramajide, Ochitology, good evening, sir. Yeah. I, I think, uh, CCV, you, you have a question that is it deliberate? I, I think, this is my own opinion, <laughs> it, it was deliberately. It was deliberately in order to rig the election. You see, when INEC is planning, you see, Babajide always say this, when INEC is planning for giving us a credible election in this country, CCV, you believe the, the, the position, they will also gather and then Planning against mm. the INEC, how to read the election. There's, mm. there's some certain things how they, the logic they use to you, you read the election. Let me give you a tip once, yeah. You see, some politicians, even though the, the, the card reader was mandatory to use, they will still use another technique. One of mm -hmm. the techniques is this. Some politicians, the area they know that they were not strong enough there to win the election. They will make sure that the election in that very particular place was was really was destroyed, destroyed. and then mm -hmm. so that I next can be able to cancel election in that mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. And then the area they were strong, they will make sure that they, that place giving them enough force in order for them to win the election. So I next should should do this. No card yeah. reader, no election. Thank and God bless you, sir. Yeah. All right, <coughs> Jide, let's quickly go there. <coughs> Politicians also planning, you know. So it's a counter planning, mm -hmm. but then. You know, politics in Nigeria is a full-time business. It's a business, it's a full-time job. It's very lucrative. I, I, as if the politicians don't have an original discipline, they, many of them are, are lawyers, many engineers, and so on. There are so many full-time politicians in our country who used to be civil servants, but they've retired uh, fully into politics. <laughs> That's what they do. They don't do any other thing. Um, during the military era, you could say that, well, uh, uh, partisan politics was banned, mm -hmm. so they had no choice but to do one thing or another. But even at that time, some of them were idle, they didn't have any other thing to do because they've been politician, mm -hmm. uh, politicians all their lives. So right now, there are people who do not do any other thing except uh, just politics. plain politics. And 
Politics for, for, for a living. Yes, that's what they do for a living. Politics fetches them so much money. The kind of money that your sweat cannot give you. Hmm. In politics, you, 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 you make that kind of you money. Know, so at least Senator Sunny, uh, Sunny of uh, Kaduna, former, mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. they say you don't say former. Senator Sunny, what, what's his? Uh, Sheo Sunny. Sheo Sunny said, as a senator, I got 13 plus million every month. Mm -hmm. That is outside of a, <laughs> of a, uh, 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 what do you call uh, the allowances, uh, allowances and so on. Well, that's allowance. Allowance. That's that's about a, yeah. part, part of his <laughs> humongous allowance. So it is thirteen million. And so, oh, would you opt for any other thing? No. I, I don't blame them, but I, I think it's also the law. Yes. Um, like uh, like uh, one of my younger brothers on Facebook, uh, the Kindele is saying here that there is no system that does not have uh, merits and the merits that as we have seen from the american election mm. that even electronic voting can be um uh, fraud can be com committed through electronic voting yeah you will notice that i did not use america, america. so when i come <coughs> here i try to use examples that will be difficult for people to deflate i have used the um, Indian example because it's a better example than the American example. It's a third world nation so close to how we are oh, yeah. and oh, yeah. it is a very large country mm -hmm. by size, by mm -hmm. landmass and by population. So I've not seen any reason to quarrel with the electoral voting module of, yeah. of India yeah. and yeah. I can recommend it to my country. I think generally, and why not? You see, technology also allows you to follow the vote, the process. And INEC is trying to introduce yeah, that yeah. as well. You can follow the voting uh, process right from where you cast your ballot yeah. up to the point when, I mean, uh, the results are announced. Did they, you know what X so a, kind a of of us, so to yeah. say. What X many of us is when an election is contentious in our country, mm. the, the INEC takes the, the flag, and you are wondering why. Yeah, because people expect INEC as the arbiter to take the big decisions. But sometimes it's difficult for INEC mm -hmm. to take the big decisions. I, I, I mm -hmm. have pity for my friend, the uh, INEC chairman. Even if he will have law to take some big decisions, but he put people in some states. And if mm -hmm. some of the people that he put in the states are compromised, there's nothing that he can do. That's uh, the resident. Yeah, the resident. Letter letter letter. You yeah. saw yeah. Uh, one returning officer that yeah. was jailed yeah. 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 in a, in a, in a bomb. We need a lot. The prof. Yes, yes. the prof. Mm. We need to make examples <coughs> of some of the so-called INEC, uh, those profs, those uh, academics that INEC is using. Mm. We need to make, a lot of them are crooked, a lot of them are tainted. We need to make examples of more of them. They are worse than even the politicians that we are talking about because without them, the politician can't succeed. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, we, we'll go on this commercial break and return. But please stay there. We'll be back. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Let uh, uh, Asukwa quickly before before we go mm. on this story. Let's go to Undo quickly. Arakuni uh, Rotimi Akerudulu talked about the idea of a unicameral system for our country, and the number four citizen talked about making, you know, lawmaking a part-time thing. Yeah, yeah. Law, law making is supposed to be part time, but I'm, I am surprised that. <laughs> see, the, the thing is, that the 1963 constitution that we, we, people have been saying that um, we should revert back, revert to the 1963 constitution, I think it would be a bit difficult because right now we have so many states, so many interests, you know, and I'm not sure even the, the politicians who are clamoring for this, mm -hmm. they will agree. Because every governor that is living is always thinking, okay, I want to go to Senate. Mm. 
you know, they will always look uh, for uh, how they will rest. hold on to power. Mm. Uh, so, so, so it will be very difficult. But do you remember, for them. and Jide will remember that uh, in the uh, Second uh, Republic, mm -hmm. Second Republic, 1979 to 1983, mm. lawmaking was on a part-time basis. Yes, we can still do make it. It can still be a part-time job. But right now we have professional they politicians. Won't, how would they agree now? You know, so they will never agree for. Well, they have for, tested. For, uh, yes, you. Ah. The, the, the power in Nigeria is sweet, a yeah. citizen. It's too sweet. So when once M muscle, one is living, muscle, when you when have once you are living, yes, when once mm. you are living the if you are living uh, the states, you'll be thinking of going to the federal. Uh, let me also shock you. There are some people who are the federal and they are still th thinking of coming to the states. Oh boy! Hey, <laughs> come on! All right. Uh, so so much about our twisted democracy. It, it, as is to. Uh, stimulate opinion, allow you make make up your mind. Okay, we go to our next story. You know, militants under the backing, or if you like, aegis of the Igbisu Freedom Fighters Movement, EFFM, have joined forces with popular militant government Ekpomopolo, alias Tompolo, on a seven-day ultimatum, ultimatum given to the federal government and the Niger Delta Affairs Minister, Godswill Akbabio, to constitute the NDDC board or risk a major breakdown of law and order in the region. Now, in a frantic move to douse tension, the minister visited an ex-militant in the latter's country home in Oporuzo, uh, Baramato Kingdom in Delta State. He, Niger Delta Affairs Minister, was asked to return to Abuja to inaugurate the NDDC board. As far as the militants are concerned, the seven-day ultimatum Jide is in its sixth day today. But question, can we really afford another militancy or, if you like, agitation in the rivers, uh, in the Niger Delta region? No, we cannot. Mm -hmm. We cannot. And it is um, extremely difficult to use military action to stop them. I remember when um, they were attacking some of our... Um, terminal oil, 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 oil exportation terminals. Yeah, okay. I want against the idea of military action because a lot of these people and a lot of these pipelines are even on the surface, so they are easy to breach. Mm -hmm. You see a, a building, you see a community in the Niger Delta, you see miles and miles of pipelines on the surface of the head. So you can, they can be breached anytime. These guys did not have to come like an army to breach an export terminal. So they were targeting our export terminals at that time, blasting them. In the end, we had to reach out to them and we were able to go back to our usual uh, uh, production uh, quota uh, yeah. from INEC, meaning that oh, OPEC, it is mean. not in, in uh, OPEC. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Meaning that it is not in all cases that you can use force. The nature of that area, even during the Nigerian Civil War, mm. it was a big challenge. The creeks were a big challenge to federal forces. So it's not in all cases that you can simply use force. Now, going back to what has happened. I want to briefly show people what an NDDC board looks like and what is going on now. Okay. The NDDC board has a chairman, the MD, executive director of projects, who must be an engineer by law, executive director of finance, then nine commissioners representing each of the nine, nine states. oil behind states. Okay. Three additional members representing non-oil producing states across, across our country. Then representatives of the Minister of Finance, uh, Ministry of Finance, and representative of the Ministry of the, Envi uh, the Environment. Now, Akpabio has contrived to ensure that there is no board. It means that those are your words. Yes, those. This is what is happening. Now, those nine states are not represented. If we had a board, 
We've not had a board for almost two years now. Yeah, yeah. If we had a board, each of these states will have their representatives. They will feel that, uh, well, decisions are being taken mm -hmm. and they are carried along. Mm -hmm. But a situation in which we have had, we've continued to breach the law setting up the NDDC. We first had the NDDC board that the president sent a list to the National Assembly. The minister came and said he was opting for an interim management committee, which is not known to the act setting the up the FCC. Yeah. Yeah. He had this way. That interim management committee was enmeshed in corruption, and we saw drama of somebody appearing to faint, and somebody was squeezing his neck in the uh, attempt to revive him. You want did, to revive someone, is it neck that did you they, squeeze? They fainted. So, and the man who fainted <laughs> was holding the hand, the man who supposedly fainted was holding the hand of the man who was trying to asphyxiate him. That, no, 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 don't squeeze my neck. Now, see, what this guy, the reason they are bothered is you can't have a situation in which the minister is from Aquaibom, yeah. The, 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 the uh, special assistant to the president on Niger mm -hmm. Delta Affairs is from Akwaibom. Mm -hmm. Akwaibom alone is running the NDDC. Of course, these other the, people the, from uh, the, the two of us are the same, just the same way the, you, the two of you are running <laughs> the show here today. You know? <laughs> so you can't have a situation like that and expect that they will simply keep quiet. Uh, you know that the Joint Youth Congress, oh, yeah. they went to the headquarters. headquarters in Port Harcourt. Yes, yeah. they, they were attacked. They attacked the place. The minister yeah. was not around. They went to his office. He was not around. Remember, on the day that he opened that um, complex, yeah, the governors, apart from whole Puzodima, all the governors stayed away and refused to send representatives mm. because they too wanted the board to be constituted. Okay, so board is statutory. It is what the minister. He has contrived to, to happen or to continue that is against the law. Mm -hmm. These guys know that what they are asking for is what, the law, is what the law uh, 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 demands. Yeah. How yeah. can one person now take the place of engineers, take the place... Files now don't go through any executive... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, just one person one taking person. decisions. Mm -hmm. And remember in, in, uh, in April, Senator Apabio announced that uh, NDDC was broke. It was well reported in the paper. Broke mm -hmm. again after remember, the money that they spent during the COVID uh, season. season. Oh, mm -hmm. We spent money on this. Exactly. That new man, the, 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 the um, sole administrator, came in. Ed uh, he he, he cancelled some desilting contract. I said, oh, this man is a new broom. He's, he probably is going to do something new. Only for him to start awarding a fresh round of desilting contract. When they want mm. to steal in NDDC, it's desilting that they do. That is, and we know that NDDC, despite all of the money that Nigeria has pumped into that place, you don't see the money in the Niger Delta area. Yeah, oh you yeah. don't see the evidence oh yeah. of money spent. So people are saying, give us a board. Yeah. You are now going, Tom Polo that we were looking for, you know how yes, we are Nigeria yes. degenerated to. Tom Polo that we were looking for, yeah, 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 to yeah, no way, yeah, that's yeah. a man that a minister would take an helicopter mm -hmm. to go and meet in Baramatu <laughs> Kingdom. You see, because you know uh, what he's capable of doing if you don't listen. Uh, uh, Asuko, uh, well, Senator Akbabi is our brother, no, no, but he's mm -hmm. also the minister. But then, waiting be the law be the law. We are saying um a sole administrator is not known to the law mm -hmm. so this agitation is genuine he had said yes, yes. we can't afford mm -hmm. another round of militancy in the n not at this time our mm -hmm. economy is in is in so, shambles and the ultimatum now one day remain oh. yeah I, I i believe um that the president would not want to you know, sit at by and allow another violence in the Niger Delta, particularly now that we are struggling. Mm -hmm. You know, we already have crisis in the southeast. Yes. And we don't even want to talk about the north, but the southeast that is very close to the south-south is already mm -hmm. in tumult. So we will not, I'm not sure the president will want that. Just like Babajide has said, this is the law. I don't know why Nigerians 
especially our leaders are always trying to play on our intelligence. Yeah. The law says constitute a board. Mm -hmm. But Ako, Asokwa, are, are you, you, a, board are, you if, are you taking if, into account, sorry, no. are you taking into account Akwabio's excuses for not setting See, up the there board? Is one, no wait, wait, no, no. One, he had said budgetary, there, no, there's no budget. Mm -hmm. Number two, okay. he says, uh, he says COVID. Okay. Uh -huh. They are tenable. Okay. And, and forensic. So and are forensic, you saying, forensic? Forensic auditing. So <laughs> if the board comes, if the board comes, won't, are we not still going to get the forensic auditors to give, give us the reports? So well, but the if, minister if has said July is when they are going to have the forensic citizen. report. So are you so trying to tell are me, saying that are you saying that even this sole administrator is not collecting salary? Yeah, you know what? You see, this, for, so, see, this, this forensic <laughs> thing no. eh, was supposed to last just six Just months. six months. From six months, it was in extended. No. Yes, yeah, started yes. from 2019. Extended. When this, uh, the, the, the sole administrator came, we thought, okay, this sole administrator will just be there For the, until the end of the forensic examination. The forensic examination was supposed to end April. We've gone past April now. We, we are in June. It. We are in June. So they can see that he's just put, pulling wool over their uh, eyes that he's not prepared to constitute any board. They, 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 so they, that's uh, why they are uh, saying, look, they are going to use force. And if the minister, if the minister seems to get away with anything that he goes to the president. president. Over, go and read the, pan, the report of both the Senate and the House, uh, House of Reps yeah. on the probe of NDDC. None of those recommendations mm -hmm. have, have been implemented been, yeah, by yeah, the yeah, president. Yeah. That's no, why the senators no, were angry the other day. They said, no. we will do our work. You will not take action. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, Ada, you've been waiting patiently. Welcome. You are reaching us from Joss, Plateau State. Um, Ada from Joss. Yeah. Uh, good evening. Uh, journalist Hangout. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, you know this Tampona thing? When I read it, when I saw the words, I said, Yanga, they sleep. That's the uh, last song. You know, so they, they wake up. They are looking for trouble. Yes. Look, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, uh, Yaradua, of blessed memory. That man was very intelligent. When he introduced this amnesty thing, mm. he now, he was the commander in chief of the Alford, but he now felt that using force will not work. So this idea of saying, go and crush them, go and do it, it will not work. So I just pray Mr. President will do something. I don't know why they must wait for this uh, uh, automatic to, to even get to this stage that they are not yeah. doing anything. Unless they want a problem. It is there is nothing in Nigeria. Nobody wants to obey the law. Look at Joseph. Who will take us seriously? After they will be telling us at the home of our friends that we are the one demarcating ourselves. Yeah. The president and the rest, tell me, which country will take us seriously? You said I did on site for almost two months. Uh, and that don't oh, lose your cool, you know. Let's not give up on Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then, and then no, don't lose your cool. At the Hangout, what we do is we mold opinion based on the information available to us. But thank you for calling. Thank you very kindly. Thanks. G so, G G G you know, this, this is crunch time. Mm -hmm. I, I can't begin to imagine. You know, we are broke as a nation. If um, foreign um, direct in, uh, inflows are not coming as they used to, in oh, fact, yeah. people are moving their investments out of that our country. Them, you. you need to um, get some facts through our stock market. You see clearly that people are moving investment out of the country. Now, oil pr prices are on a rebound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, think it's at seven, about 71, 71 now. Yeah, if these boys. Because they pushed us before to in the region of 300 uh, um, uh, thousand barrels a day, when we have the capacity to do even more than two million, you know that we will lose money when that yeah. happens. Are you, we are had you we yeah. had to beg them that last time because it's, you can't use force. They don't need a large army to simply go and no, blast no, a pipeline. And oh, they yeah. know where all of those pipelines oh, yeah, are. Exactly. In fact, at the peak of men's notoriety, we never thought that they could go right deep into the high sea hmm. 
to do um, damage. Damage. Oh, it yeah. was at that point that oh, yeah. it it dawned on uh, Yaradua that look, we must do something quickly. Oh yeah. And we did it. So this time around now, they've spoken to this minister. He will not listen. He's bent on having his way. All of these delays using the forensic uh, this uh, 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 yes are meant to ensure that the the place remains without a board. When you mm. have a board, there is some level of control. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. you know, even the person who is the MD knows that he has to be cautious because the board ensures that we are not saying that there will be everything will be, be fine, okay. mm. but the board ensures some level of caution that decisions are jointly taken. Then the board also ensures that the the states. Those they little are well represented. Yeah, oh, they yeah. are represented. Oh, yeah. They, are represented. Oh, yeah. they yeah. are represented and everyone is happy. Look at what the deputy governor of Delta told him. They said, look, go back to Abuja and inaugurate this. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, people are talking to you. Yes, you sir. wouldn't listen. <laughs> go back. Because if you fail to do it and if anything happens, then don't blame anyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. The deputy governor told uh, 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 Minister Kwabiu, it's not you can't, yeah. even if you have your way all the time with the president, with militants that you have no control over, you can't. You be can't too always sure. have your way. You can't be too sure. <laughs> so this is the this is the thing. You know, even in the video that uh, meeting yesterday, there was a member of the IYC. Yeah, a joy youth yes, council. Mm, you yeah. know, they spoke to directly the, directly to the minister and said they don't want to hear any story at all. Hmm. They were really angry because yes. the thing is they feel marginalized. You know, the, the thing is, is a very simple matter. There is nothing very difficult in you going to constitute a board so that every state in the Niger is Delta represented. is represented. Yes. Yeah. They are not saying give us money. No, no, no. They are not saying they are not even talking about development. But okay, put our person there in the board so yeah. that there will That's be accountability. The because the law, the that is for at least for once, yeah. people are beginning to see that. The so-called Ninja Delta people who are always angry, mm. they are now saying, yeah. we are not angry, but speaking just... as one. Yes, just one, do what is right. Do what is right. Jide, but there's a flip side to this. You think politicians are not responsible for this? Even if politicians are responsible for this, it, it, it makes me happy. Politicians should be able That's to stand up That's vested interest. Even if they are interested. Mm -hmm. If vested interest are behind these boys and telling them to apply this pressure on this minister, it makes me happy. Yes. Because what he's doing amounts to impunity. Okay. From the off, from the word go, the idea of interim management uh, uh, committee is not known to law. law. So you've gone <laughs> against our law. Yes. And That's one. Then. That's one. You did that. It was Two not years. enough. It was not enough for you. You still went... I still got the president to agree to a sole, sole administrator. administrator. That was after uh, the sole, uh, the interim management that you yeah. put together was t uh, tainted with corruption. And uh, the forensic idea was his. So we are, we'll have the forensic auditing. It shouldn't even be him mm -hmm. asking for forensic. Exactly. Or that's the job of the Auditor General of the so, Federation. So, 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 I'm saying, so that's the why, job of the Auditor General of the Federation. Party here? Now he is using uh, forensic, the, uh, the completion of the work of the forensic uh, uh, auditing or, has been moved like three times now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometime last year I was telling people that, look, they are not doing any forensic audit. At that time, they had not begun. But we were given the impression that it was on. Yeah, exactly. But they had not done anything. Now, you said six months. Six months expired in April. Mm. They can now see that after six months, your body language does not suggest that you want uh, yeah. a the board consulted. Uh, yes, consulted. And you came from PDP. This is an APC government. Some of the people that you are even bringing into the scheme mm -hmm. of things, mm -hmm. they are from the PDP. <laughs> so, how can people struggle so, to bring so in the government? The, the hand of Esau and the voice of Jacob. It's or, possible. Uh, am I right? It's possible, but for the right reasons. Yeah. For the right, this is impunity that we are seeing. Yeah. Let the law of our country be respected. For once. Yes. It's the same thing that governors are doing. Governors, they don't want autonomy for judiciary. And, and the, constitution, the constitution says clearly that it is preeminent.
Mm. But we're having a situation in which governors now see themselves mm -hmm. as more preeminent oh, than yeah. the constitution. Oh, yeah. oh, we yeah. can't allow that in our country. We say, oh, we should have uh, greater growth and development in our country. It can't happen when impunity works on two legs mm -hmm. in our country. It can't happen. Asoko, Jide is talking about a man who has said he's the original GSM. You know what is GSM being? <laughs> In don't be governor, mm -hmm. senator, minister. minister. Is no, <laughs> now him talk one time, say anything money <laughs> can do, do more, more money, money can money. do. <laughs> but it, it, let's even go back mm. there. Um, remember that he was given Festus Keamo as the minister, junior minister for the, at mm -hmm. the beginning. Mm. But somehow he was removed. Mm. Mm. So, so. Ah. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Okay. Um, so the, the man, the, the quarrel. <laughs> the quarrel. So they give Kiyamo somebody that yeah, will be more pliable that they can pliable, work yes. with. Mm -hmm. They were done the exchange blows. It was okay. <laughs> yes. Exactly. So, so, but but that's understandable. Festus is also a Niger Delta son. Mm -hmm. But we are saying you are in charge. It is the time you were known in Aquaibom as the transformer. Mm. Why not transform? This is the opportunity. Rise and shine. Of course. Mm. In fact, it was even people were happy when they said, oh, he is the one that mm. is going to be the minister. But we never knew that it was going to be it turned out this way. Ah. Because what we wanted was him to come, like the east-west road that we keep say, saying, east-west road, east-west road. By now, as a minister, he sh he's, he's supposed to have completed that oh, yeah. west road. Oh, yeah. No, they are busy you know, doing the silting. You know, so <laughs> <laughs> so so the so the thing is, the development we are even looking at, we, we are, are not, not even thinking it. about That's that. That's what hangers people. You know? The development is not there, you know, and he's saying they are broke now. Akwabi, apart from that, I'm, uh, sorry, not Akwabi, Asukwa. Okay, sorry. Mm. You know, or from. Um, the first chairman who was uh, the Abia uh, senior colleague, uh, the journalist, yeah. to the current chairman, mm. none of them is a non Niger Delta. The minister the, had always, always been Niger. So from we cannot Niger say Delta. now because the minister yes. is outside so, of. Yes. So where is the problem? The problem is the people that they are always putting there. Because the thing is, I have I don't know why our people is you know what. You are putting somebody from Niger Delta. The day any president will bring somebody who is not from Niger Delta, they will be crisis. They will, they will fight the person. They will start fighting. Ah. Now they have put our brother, let me use that word, they will put our brother there, and yet we are still having the same problem. You know oh, the oh, Senate... Oh, 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 oh. So, sorry, we have somebody, we have pricked somebody from <laughs> Yanagua. His name is Kizzy. Kizzy, welcome. How do you do? I'm very fine. Good day. Yeah, let's go. You're on air. Yeah, Baba Jide, good evening. Good evening, I greet you. Oh, you don't greet your Niger Delta brothers. Not only Jide, you greet. No, all of you are super and student in Jones. Uh huh. You don't do, you don't complete. Go on. Baba Jide, it's very nice to you. You are a gift from God to Nigeria. Because you have been able to put the record straight. Thanks. Okay. All right. All right. So the fact is that uh, we should always tell ourselves the truth in this country. Mm. Because the situation in which uh, NDDC has generated so is so sad. NDDC right now is a cash cow for politicians who don't have capacity who are just there to make the economy drive. Mm. You can imagine we are talking about 12,000 abandoned projects. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. all these projects have been slow. Nothing is happening. And uh, in the last uh, two or three years, the organization has been working, working, working without anything for any audit there, mm. collecting money. And we don't forget that government just approved the uh, 2021 budget. They're spending this money mm -hmm. in the name That's of the administration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now yeah. look at the minister now going to see, go to Delta to see it. The problem with this government, there's no synergy. And if I could recall, the, the current minister for petroleum resources and former governor of the chief chief receiver, was the one who fought for the amnesty for the region. He is the one that could really understand his language. And I said, without yeah. taking those ministers that are from that area to go there and talk to these people and down the tension. Because right now, what is happening in the East, North Central, we don't need another crisis in the Niger Delta region. We all know how volatile the Niger Delta region is. Kizzy, many thanks. We share your sentiment. 
Yeah, um, GD, as we begin to wind down on this, mm -hmm. there's a leeway for the minister. There's still time. Yes, um, there is time. There's no, no big deal in inaugurating a board. Yeah, there's exactly. no big deal. It's the one who has just mystified the whole thing. No, it has to be after a report of the forensic. And the report. forensic report is taking eternity. Like forever. He's taking eternity. <laughs> they, will, they, they will keep looking at you like someone who is just uh, wasting their time. And you can't be right and everyone is wrong. Mm -hmm. The governors of the region who are not happy with you, they complain. You now began to say that, okay, that they should talk about how they were spending uh, the 13% uh, oh, yeah. uh, derivation, this and that. Mm -hmm. and as you if you are governor, not a governor yourself. For eight years. That, you know, mm -hmm. People would think that when you are governor, you paved the streets of uh, Aquaibon with gold. gold. No, so <laughs> let's, don't give us that. Inaugurate this, this board. Inaugurate this board. It, it let every state let every state be represented. Yeah. And no, mm -hmm. You have created a situation in which everyone thinks that Aquaibon is dominating others because all the three people that matter, they are from a yes, uh, yeah. bomb state. As if mm -hmm. the other states don't matter. No, you are, this is it is crisis that the go, the minister is asking for. And by now, I expected the president to have said, "Look, enough is enough. Yeah, go and uh, inaugurate this board so that we can have peace." All right, as a parting parting shot. Well, we we just hope that um, the minister is listening to us. For the past one week, the major road linking um, the east-west road was blocked by the Ijo Youth State yeah. Council. Yeah. And it has been like every day. This is inconveniency for people who are going to their daily, doing their normal businesses. Mm. Okay. And, so, and this is a very simple matter. The minister can sit down today and begin to write the names of everybody in the board. And gives it to Mr. President. It's not he easy. even said the board you is know. ready, but so, that, uh, <coughs> if the board is ready, <laughs> so let, him announce, <laughs> let him announce. If he wants us to give him free air time, we'll give him free air time. Oh, yeah. uh, now, oh. somebody. No, 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 he must pay. Come on. This is no, the no, no, He has so much money to pay. <laughs> <laughs> we are not going to allow free air time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody is so happy about the way we discuss this matter, and he said, um, I'm enjoying your discussion with Citizen Joe's. Please pass my message to him. Hmm. I will kill my dog if he's interested in the head <laughs> for pepper soup. <laughs> Tell him dogs are domestic animals. <laughs> <in my side>. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, uh, Senator <clears throat> Goswil Akwabi, this is uh, straight from the heart. The mark of the man is knowing when to apply the brakes. Yes. We wish you well. All right, uh, that will just about do it on the program for today. Don't forget to join us on Sunday from 1.30 to 3.30 for two hours of uh, a show, Journalist Hangout. We are also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. I'm Citizen Jones. Bye-bye now.